really need this war to end the soon before they full occupy me. Since the beginning of the war with uh, Burgundy. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I get it. I'm attacking their favorite streamer, I guess. But at the same time, fucking get over it. <laughs> that was closer than I would have liked. I guess you just need uh, 100 legitimacy and then you're Spain, right? Yeah, I do. I am an unhonored dick. <laughs> God, the salt in the chat is glorious. Goodness. Cost me a little bit of money, but I got it. What'd you get? Venice. Oh, nice. 250 ducats, but I basically just said I have a coalition and I will kill you if you don't give it. <laughs> He's like, we could fake war. I'm like, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, you want a fake war where it's an honorable 1v1 so you don't have to worry about a coalition. Once I unleash the dogs, I'm not stopping them. So he's like, alright. Tread softly and carry a big stick. Yep. In my case, I talk rather obnoxiously, but I definitely carry a big stick. <laughs> big sticks are the greatest. Now all I need to do is not die before loan is a uh, cord. Then I'm the Netherlands, then I feel like my time here has been a success. I've achieved something. Gonna work out the best way of making money from trade. 7.5 at the moment. End of this month, I've just moved all of my ships to protecting trade in uh, Holland again. And oh, yeah, that's a big difference. Okay, I should keep my ships here. Part of what I was trying to do before was just take money away from Deeth's Martian, but because of that Denmark embargo, they're just not strong enough. Much better. Making money again. Is Corbett still in the game? Yes. Yes, he is. Keep getting confused between Quagasol, which is Cologne, and then um, Corbett, which is Hunter.
Am I going to ask for an electric ship? Yeah, there are definitely no free ones, and I am already cashing in pretty hard on the Emperor's goodwill. Please I would heretics. Okay. much rather keep my... Um... He's sending me peace to try and take Kent from me. He's like, I'm fine. <laughs> Come get me, bro. I'm, I'm making money. Uh, my war exhaustion is actually going down. His is just going up and up. There's no reason for me to peace out. Kind of glad I didn't join that war, though. Because this would have been fought in Dutch territory. Yeah, boy. Sweet. Nice. Good job, man. Right. So, Alliance, yeah? Yeah. You want to jump in on this Burgundy War as well? No, straight away, because all my troops are in America. I can head over. Fair enough. Let me know when you want me to call you in. Congratulations, Spain! Thank you very much. Um, do you do a little Sardinia deal? Yeah, I would love one. So, how do you want to? How do you want to do it? I just oh shit, I sent money with that. Um, I just I'll send them over. You form your alliance and your formation, and just you send them back. All right, that sounds great to me. Oh yeah, I'm gonna embrace an institution so that the costs don't go up afterwards. Go a little bit of this. Hello, Netherlands! Freaking oh. finally! Everyone's <laughs> oh, switching. Yeah. Nice. I think just Good send job, Cag dude. Cagliari next. I don't think I need Arborea. Sweet. Okay. Oh right, I won't be able to send it right away. I need my admin level ten. Oh, okay. Uh, so, so just wait. Don't send anything. Okay. Cool. That's no problem. Hey, I'm you just got a victory card? What? Okay. I'm amazed I survived to do that. Yeah, my, my admin's way behind. But I've got it focused. And I'm getting a level 2 dude on him now. Uh, Spain? Can can we come to an accord where I take colonial Eastern America and then you can take Caribbean, Mexico, anything there you want? Because I've yep. just started... That's fine. Oh, I wanted Florida. Is that alright? Just And then I'll stop them expand. Oh yeah, because it's in the trade node. Yeah, no, that's yeah, yeah. cool then. Well, I'll let them get that. Yeah, Florida. And then that's it. So how does one rejoin the Empire? <laughs> uh, from the HRE screen, bottom left does join HRE, but you have to have a relationship with Austria that's good enough. And I'm too big. I'd need 230 or 54 or something relation with Austria. I need you could release a uh, vassal... Um, and then re yeah, it. Actually, did Vassals count? Italy. Oh. oh, apparently. Apparently, there might be some chatter about the Papal States going on the offense again, potentially towards me. Oh dear. Oh, Bavarian on knowledge? I think I'm still selling it to Hess. Can Serbia form Byzantium? That'd be pretty cool. Anything cool going on up here, guys? Not really. How about you? I'm about to attack Hess and form Westphalia. 
Oh, nice. I'm waiting for him to get uh, the institution in his capital before he gives it to me. Because I'm going to give it back to him. And he was already halfway through. This seems to be the period of tag forms. Britain's formed, Netherlands has formed, Savoy is about to get Sardinia. Oh, nice. He's going to form Sardinia and Piedmont. I believe that's the plan. I would imagine. I thought there was a way of adding territory to the HRE as well. Yeah. If you go to Holy Roman Empire, there's a button that says add all provinces. At the bottom, right Can't next do to it. Eve. Can't do it if you're not in it. Yes, true. And Join I need... Is on your capital, I think. Yeah, I need 176 rela uh, positive relations with Austria, and the most I'm going to get is about 97. If you talk to him, has he improved with you? Uh, I think so, because he intervened in the previous war. Has he, like, improved all the way? I'll go and have a word with him. I think he's currently yeah. talking to Brandenburg, because I think there was friction between them. Yeah, once you can, though... He, I think he'd love, because it would give 10 Imperial Authority to the Empire, which would let him pass a reform. So he'll probably do all he can to help you there. All right, message sent. Let's see what we get. And you you left because of the Netherlands, right? Or yeah. The Netherlands. It wasn't like you you pushed. Okay, cool. Yeah, you said have no reason not to want to try. I would imagine. We're just at equilibrium right now, and your ten for joining would uh, would help us out. And if you guys don't know, the third reform now makes it so you can force people into the empire. Oh, interesting. Gives you France is going to join the war now. Which one? Uh, the one with me. He's just allied Burgundy again. And you're only at 20%. Yeah, he's just joined the war. Well, they can get you, can't they? I can't, I can't, <laughs> no. I can't fight I France and Burgundy on my own, mate. Yeah, I'm, I know. My troops are in. America. Oh man. Can you just keep an eye out to see if he's got a fleet? Yeah. Oh no, France. France fleet is dead. Long dead. All right, guys. Uh, oh, hello. Hey, so you still have a trade fleet, right? Or who? Where's? Yeah. Mordred, I uh, think you you're. So, Mordred, if you want to temporarily, I think you have to, like, what does it say you need to have for to join the Empire to add your provinces? It says that I need 176 relations. We currently only have 100. Yeah. Are you maxed out? Yeah, I'm maxed out mm -hmm. as well. Um, hmm, how do we do this? You can, well, an ally is, what, 50? And then yes. you can gift me, and then... Um, I don't really know the best way to do this. You can insult my, you can scornfully insult Dith Martian. No, wait, who is my rival? Oh, dang it. Scornfully insult the Ottomans or the French. <laughs> Get a little bit extra. Okay, I can do or, that. Or Burgundy. Okay, so we are going to go over the limit, but this is just going to be for a second. I assume they're not going to be too upset about it. Uh, Chewy. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm about to do something, a little, a little something. I just, uh, I don't need anything from you right now. Uh, if, um, for whatever reason, uh, the Muslims all decide to unite against, uh, 
Uh, well, they join a war against me. Uh, are you happy to help me out? They shouldn't of right course. now. There's no like alliances. All right, awesome. You're, Cheers. You're, uh, you're an empire of France, my friend. Awesome. Slavic in here. Slavic is here, yeah. Yeah, what's up? No, Lud. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, is that enough for you, Mordred? I'm just checking. I'm one off. I'll send you subsidies. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say either that or. Yeah, because I don't want to. Uh... Or you can just gift me directly. That's true. I don't actually have the money for that. Subsidies would be easier. Yeah, that's fine. I was going to say I don't. Oh, you can also improve relations by six more, so. <laughs> you could just click the improve relations button. As soon as I get a diplomat back, I shall do so. My general is dad. Oh my gosh, negative 11 per month. Uh, my cannons are about to get smashed. I'm an idiot. Spain, you're out of sailors, mate. Done. Yeah, I know. Ooh, that's a nice looking Spain you got there, friend. Uh, cheers, bro. I'm trying to get more uh, sailor income. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah. Did you... Okay, you got it done? Yep, I'm in. Okay, I'm gonna break a line just so I don't get yelled at. That's fine. We got the important thing. Yes, sir. I love it when my princes keep getting Ill eaten and then my force limit goes down every year. <laughs> well, I'm should've... perfectly happy to, to wait in here until um, you guys are ready to attack again. He's got absolutely nothing on me. He can't build a navy. So, Zlovic had proposed a possible consolidation of various blocks to make the wars a little more... Yeah, I, I can sum it up. It's like, because right now you're fighting France and Bergen, like it's like 10 or 12 versus 2. And we all ha want to have fight, right? Like, fight and fun. And it's like over two hours until we end. So the proposition is that me and Flory ally them, and we, we fight 4 against 10 or 12. And I'm kind of milk. I'm milkworm on it, or lukewarm? Milkworm. Milk <laughs> if you look at the idea. amount of land that is, mm. that would There's be nothing like a not tall so glass of warm milk. <laughs> it puts you to sleep. Yeah, I like I said, I'm I'm sort of a milkworm on it. So, I don't know. So, who wants to join the empire? That's the problem. I got CBs now, baby. Vote for me, and I'll join the Empire. So Savoy is out of the Same. Empire. Vote for you? Yep. If you vote for me, I'll join the Empire, and then it'll be a bigger Empire. Yeah. Universal monarchy. Here we go. Uh, at this point, my strength versus strength of me with Emperorship is like... Probably not that huge of a difference anymore, because there's yeah, like probably. five five guys have eaten everything. Is this fall time? Is, is it break? Uh, yeah, it probably time is break time. Break. It's half time. Yeah, sounds good to me. All right. Uh, oh, your holy yeah, is. dude. Yes, sir. Oh, you're talking Pope Man. No, oh, he's left. He's, he's he's allied to the knights, and that might be a little bit of an issue. So dig this. Uh, the uh, something, an event happened, and it popped up to 50. And uh, I instantly, and my chat was like, Imperial 30, Imperial 30. Yes, because <laughs> I rejoined. You got 10 for that. Yes. Beautiful. I love it. <laughs> Which my chat though. was saying, like, Austria is definitely going to accept you because you'll tip him over the edge. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Show reform desire. 51. Alright, boys. I will be right back then. Yeah, I'm going to take a break as well. So, see you in a bit. Alright. Sounds good. Go to... And chat, I am taking a break, so we are going to be probably 15 minutes again like last time. I'll need to double check exactly how long the break will be. But I know that I'm out of tea and I really need some more. So, we shall resume shortly...
I'm just seeing if there's any note about when this break will end. I'm going to take it as being 15 minutes, so I'm going to stick up a screen saying as much, and if I'm wrong, I'll tweak it. So, 15 minute break everyone. Enjoy. And we shall resume at that time. And you know what? I'll even stick on some music, because I'm nice. All right, hello chat. We are back again. I think we'll be resuming shortly. I don't know exactly when we are restarting. Because it's still paused. That's okay. And I think I might send a message to Midge to say if he wants to have a word about how things are going at the moment. Because I think since I last spoke to the commentary team, things have changed a bit. Oh, we're up again. Wow, that was quick. All right, we'll see what happens there. I'm just going to leave the Discord open just so I can, like, monitor if they're responding. So sorry if I don't immediately respond to you, chat. And I should probably unmute myself. Okay, talking. They might be yeah, he's, they're definitely talking in there. AFK is not AFK. Yeah, <laughs> oh, if you're yeah. AFK, then Quill, you're just Quill and you decided to camp AFK. So it, AFK yeah. is go talk to Quill. So are you here? Yep, I'm here. Okay, hello. Um, we, we have a request in the main Midgeman chat um, on stream that, if possible, would you be willing to sell the provinces required for room to form and they give you the provinces back after? Hmm. Because what they want to see happen is room form, the mm -hmm. City of Worlds Desire mission, and then Rum becomes a HRE prince because Constantinople is in the Empire. Right. Oh, well, that sounds like fun. Indeed. And what we're also trying to get is if uh, the Archduke is willing to make them an, a elector as well. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll have a chat to uh, to Austria and we'll see what we can do. Uh, happy days. Yeah, I think so. Because unfortunately, the French alliance chain has kind of fallen apart as a bulwark against Austria. So I like that this Mediterranean alliance has kind of been uh, uh, has been joining on. But anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to Mordred. Lovely speaking with right. you. You Gamble. too, man. Take care, man. I'll, I'll speak to you very soon. Hello, Mordred Viking. Hello. So circumstances have changed a little bit since we spoke last. Oh, 100. percent Um, I like I like that we see the orange on the map, but. You are still without... Oh, you've got Sweden actually on your side now. Interesting. Okay. There was actually a reason for that. So after we spoke, I had to t take a little bit of time to think about what on earth I was going to do and how I could survive. Because I'll be honest, I thought the writing was on the wall. I thought the Holland was yes. done. Um, so I basically went to the Pope and said, I've been a very devout Catholic. I've been constantly being attacked by even the Emperor himself. Could you try to broker an agreement between me and the Emperor... Uh, for the Empire's actual protection. And I said in exchange for that, I would have complete neutrality. I would not join any future wars. And he agreed. And then spoke to the Emperor, and he was like, yeah, okay, this is agreeable. So I left the French alliance and mm -hmm. broke all of my alliances up till that point. And you will have noticed that that actually came into play because Flory did come after me with a Death Martian. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we did. And, and you managed to enforce peace, I'm guessing. Yeah, I spoke to the Emperor said, look, I'm still neutral. 
uh, we have an agreement. Are you willing to do your end of this bargain? And he turned around and enforced the peace. Sorry, uh-huh. did Westphalia just form? It yes, did. Westphalia did. just formed, and Königsberg was sold to Brandenburg. Oh. So we're going to have a Prussia, apparently, as well. Nice. Um, so I've, I've bartered for something during the break. Oh, what the word? Um, so we could very well see Rum form, because people are willing to sell the appropriate provinces. Okay. And Rum are willing to do the City of Worlds Desire mission, which will add them into the HRE, and quite possibly Austria are willing to make them an elector. <laughs> oh, that's going to be very interesting. But no, I, I have we have been watching Dutch, uh, D- the Dutch survival with uh, bated breath because you seem outnumbered everywhere. But I, I like the Sweden alliance. That's going to be really, uh, really fun to see as well. Just see how you survive, especially with these new forces joining. Maybe mm-hmm. talking to maybe talking to Flory and see if you can get on that alliance chain. Because. Uh... On, on, Considering he was the one that attacked me, I'm a little reluctant. Right now, my loyalties are very much with the Emperor because he kept me alive. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. As a question, Mordred, are you planning to support the Dutch revolts in Burgundy? Um, I'll need to think about that one. <laughs> because, because I think it would be worthwhile because you'll get quite a few provinces out of them. That's true. Uh, the thing is, Burgundy were good allies while we were allied right until that last moment when they completely sold me out. Um, yeah. They have since not attacked me or anything, and they definitely had the opportunity to do. Actually, no, I was protected by the Empire the whole time. Yep. Huh. I, I will need to consider it. When the um, the opportunity arises, we shall see. Yeah, for, for sure. Definitely for sure. Definitely for sure. I, I would say as well, who is, is that Lubeck that's right next to you, but to, partitioning your lands? Yes. I have an agreement with Lubeck. They want a way to go colonial. So as soon as they do and they get an established uh, colonial city, then they're going to sell it back to me. Ah, uh, oh, Okay, that makes sense. Um, now, are you going to go for the traditional Dutch Republic? I already have. Oh, yeah. okay. I did, not sit, I did not notice that, but okay. Because there, um, there, there was another agreement actually at the start of the game. I was supposed to be allied with Denmark, but he refused the alliance when the game actually started. And the, <laughs> the terms of that was that I would go Merchant Republic and then start boosting the goods produced, everyone around me. But because Denmark refused the alliance, I thought, oh, I'm not beholden to that anymore. I'll go Dutch Republic instead. Fair enough. Yeah. Also, of course, classic Mordred Viking Netherlands uh, lineup of ideas, economic quality, and maritime. I was seriously umming and ahhing about quality. That could well have been naval, except the naval early on is a lot better for galleys than heavies. But quality yeah. is like mixed naval and uh, ground combat, so yes. Well, one thing we've learned from Flurry's last run is the quality maritime. If you do plan on blockading or privateering, you are going to go through the roof with it. Oh, I know. And I might well oh. add espionage as a fourth. We shall see. Yes, well, if if people don't know who Mordred Viking is, definitely check him out because he is essentially the king of navies. In any game he plays, he manages to dominate the seas or tries to dominate the seas for sure. Hardline for EU for you just have so much fun with it. Yeah, which is why everyone was so surprised that I didn't build ships, but I still maintain that Tech Nine is when you start building ships. Up until then, it's not really worth it. As soon as I hit Tech Nine, spent about three hundred ducats just building a fleet, and now I have a pretty decent one. At least for myself. Now, qu- question for you: Is it worth to upgrade ships that you currently have, or disband and rebuild? Uh, you may as well upgrade because it doesn't take the extra time, because it takes like a year or longer, especially for the heavy ships, whereas upgrading, you just need to repair them again. And you get the sailors back, so it's no real cost. 